Hey guys, so uh, something new with me, I'm going back to school. Your boy is going back to finish his degree finally. I will be starting about on January 1st, not about. Uh, my official start date is January 1st. I have a couple things I have to do before then, but I'm officially enrolled. I'm paying my tuition in two days, and we are getting going and hitting the ground running. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what program I choose, why I chose it, and also why I'm going back to school, even though I'm already working as a developer. Hey guys, just want to do a quick shout out to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. We've been partnered with Dev Mountain for a while, and I'm, I'm very happy with them. I've had several friends who have gone through their program and love it. And oftentimes when you're just getting started in software, you know it's a direction you want to go, but you're not quite sure you're going down the right path. So to have a boot camp uh, it's been had some really great grads and that you know is high quality and can sort of guide you in the technologies that are relevant in the working world, I think Dev Mountain does a great job of that. So if you're interested in it, go ahead and check them out at devmountain.com. So why am I going back to school? A lot of people are going to assume it's money. Dylan doesn't make enough money or he wants more money. I, although it is true, I do want more money. I will get more money just by years of experience. And my degree will probably pay for itself because it's only going to cost me about $7,000. Uh, a little less than that maybe if I put in some work, but I'm assuming about $7,000. Uh, and I'll definitely get a return on that. And it's not a money thing because I – honestly, guys, I, I, I'm making a clear – around 85,000 this year between YouTube and and uh, my my job uh, I would tell you my salary but I think it would make my my work feel uh, into not like that so let's we'll just say YouTube and my job make 85 to 90 thousand this year which compared to last year I made 42 thousand 45 thousand the year before that 15 thousand so it's not a money thing although I am always going to make sure that I am getting paid a respectable rate. And I'm, I have a year and three months experience as a developer and about two years in the industry as a whole. So I'm, I'm just getting my career started. As I get a little bit more experience, it will jump through. Now, I want to go back for a couple of reasons. One, I was looking at certifications. And it, well, I'll explain how it ties into the program that I chose. But I was looking at certifications to essentially bump my pay. At first, I wasn't necessarily... 100% that I was going to go back to college, part of it was the money, part of it was the time. Those were the two things. And I found a program that kind of worked for me in that aspect. And that was uh, Western Governors University, which is a online program. And you pay a flat six month tuition rate of uh, 3,200 and then it's about $300 in fees and, and tools. So you're paying about $3,500 every six months. Now they have a cool, the way that their um, their university, it's all accredited and all that sort of stuff. I don't want you to think it's a trade school and I'm just, again certificate i'll be uh the exact degree i'll get is a software development bachelor's of science and um uh back to the certification so what what what, what about certifications well i'm i'm very aware of what the low points on my resume are the high points of me i'm a good developer i have i have side projects i'm passionate about development everything you want now when getting your foot in the door so and i have experience now right so that's a <laughs> that's a good thing so where's my my weakness well it's in my education so originally i thought how can i supplement this with th certifications and i was like okay the comp tia the ciw these are all sort of uh, uh hardware tech software uh certifications that you can get to throw on your resume to really make it pop a little bit maybe make up for the fact that i don't have my bachelor's and and go from there and what i discovered was uh as i was kind of going back and forth that the um western governors university uh their their platform after some subscribers recommended them i did a little bit more research of my own and what's cool about them is they have what they call a um oh my goodness i'm forgetting the word right now but the way that you pass their cl their classes are three ways. One, you actually go and get a certification. And mind you, there's homework and they, they help you along the way. But you don't ha necessarily have to do the homework if you don't want. Competency-based testing. That's what it's called. Competency-based um, classes. And essentially, you have a mentor as you're going through this online program. And you can take either the sort of the final, if you want to think of it that way. And if you pass it, uh, you're good to go. They don't care about how many hours you are sitting in a chair, wasting your time going through courses because they say you have to. Um, 
or you could do projects that will fill that and not test. Or uh, in certain, some of them, you actually have to go and get certifications, which are part of your learning platform that will help you out that way. A good example of why I like this program is I have two web development courses. I work as a web developer. You guys all know I have projects on here. I'm assuming that I'm competent in what they're going to test us on. And so instead of me spending this six unit and five unit class, which are very large classes in, in terms of units, if you're not familiar with college, uh, I can immediately say, you know what? Let's go ahead and take the test because I'm a web developer. I should be able to pass this test and I can knock out these 11 units today or within a week or two. And that's what's really exciting about it is in that six month tuition, you can take as many courses as you can complete, right? So you sign up for five, I knock one out, I can throw another one in there that time, and I'm paying the same amount. So the harder you work, the less you're going to pay. And in terms of their stats, 83% of their graduates finish between six months to two years. Uh, if you're familiar with Free Code Camp and Bo Carnes, who has done like 50 videos on their YouTube channel, and he's he's contributed to Free Code Camp and really great guy. I encourage you to go. I believe he has his own YouTube channel, so just go YouTube.com uh, and search for Bo Carnes. I don't know it off the top of the head. I think it's called like JS Nuggets, or that might be his series. But anyhow, um, he knocked out uh, this exact program in six months while working full time, which is really impressive. Uh, but part of that is he just probably put in works, took the test and studied and knocked it out. And I'm hoping to do something very similar. Um, for me, it's not necessarily a money thing, although I don't want to spend a ton of money on, on, on student debt. I know so many software developers who have had student debt for five, six years, seven years. And that's that's for most people, not a very long period of time, believe it or not. But also I get to go and accomplish these degrees that are part or these certificates that are part of the program. But that, so for a very practical standpoint, that's why I'm going back to school to learn, not because I need it to keep being a developer. If I got fired or laid off today, no one would ever hire me again. That's not a concern of mine or that I'm not going to make good money. By most people's standards, I make great money and my, my income will probably continue to grow, right? And I, I have no doubt about that, whether I were to go back to school or not, but one of the things that I want to do later on in life is I want to be a teacher. I, uh, I have no interest in doing it now because they make it, they make <laughs> money is a focus because I'm still trying to buy a house. I'm trying to become financially stable. And one of the worst things you can do is early on while you're getting your experience and you're, you're working is just going into a field that pays no money. It's unfortunate, right? Because I really would, if I could make six figures as a teacher you know, right now, I would go when I finish this degree, I'd probably go and work as a teacher at some school and I think I would enjoy it and I think it would be very fulfilling and it would be something that I'm interested in. Um, not to say that I it wouldn't be as fulfilling as a developer role, but it'd be, it would be an option is what I'm trying to say. I probably wouldn't do it right away, but it would be an option. Right now, it's not even part of the conversation because how can you go, how, why would I take half the pay to go do probably a harder job in all reality <laughs> because of all the, the things that go along with being a, a good teacher. Bad teachers, you guys got it easy, which is about 90% of you. Uh, the other 10%, I know it's a hard job and you're getting underpaid. Um, but uh, later on in life, maybe in retirement, I want that as an option, right? Maybe in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, or vice versa. People are like, well, you know, is it, can you not get become a senior developer? Are you not gonna make good money? I can make just fine money as a senior developer without a degree, but one of the things that will stop you uh, and make it harder, not impossible, None of this is impossible. Um, is uh, it may be harder to 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 really uh, move up and architect projects and um, get into management and and things like that. Management and software. I don't want to like run a bunch of cashiers or, or anything around the place, right? But a software develop manager and and still be a developer and stuff like that. But this will be one of those things. So well, it will help me and. Uh, at least in my eyes. And by the way, I, I have uh, I have uh, software developers who I, I work with, talk with, who I've suggested this to about me going back and most of them have said that I shouldn't and I don't need to, but they understand why I feel that way. Um, and it's, it's, it's interesting because everything that I've ever been told is you gotta go to school, you gotta go to school, you gotta go to school, uh, right? Uh, we've all had that, right? We're gonna be crackheads on the street. Uh, 
stealing and thieving if we don't have a bachelor's degree. Um, for me, it's more so just a little bit of insurance and a little bit of something different. So um, I'll, I probably won't appreciate it while I'm in it, but lately I've been doing YouTube, I've been doing projects, and I just want something different, right? I want something something fresh, and so that's part of the reason why I'm going back to school is, well, is to switch it up because if I do want to go down this teaching path or I do want to, um, the only thing that it's going to hurt me, and this is one of those things where I tell people to have a GitHub, have a LinkedIn, kind of the only thing that hurts you with a degree is the time and money investment. That's really it at the end of the day. Um, and f and for me, I've limited the time, I've limited the money, and so the in terms of the benefit, it could do nothing but help me after that limited time and limited money as far as I see it. But uh, if I'm going to do such a thing, which I am, because uh, I start on the first, I'm saying this as if, I'm hypothetically, if I were going to take a degree program, one of the, I should take it now. I'm 30. I'm buying a house. I am uh, pretty soon. You know, I'm trying to find the right one. But uh, I am, you know, April and I don't have any children. Uh, we're not for a couple of years. So would like to do that before that ever happens, if that ever happens. Um, just like when it happens, Dylan. When it happens. <laughs> um, and uh, it'll be one of those things where later on it can serve me some benefit in the future, but also it'll be fun. Um, I'm interested to see if there is such a thing as a good college uh, and a good way of learning. And this is the closest and the best sort of degree program that I've come across that will work for me. College never really worked for me. I um, I was very miserable doing it. I hate I so much time in class for nothing. Um, it was it was a really awful experience, and I'm excited to to try uh, Western Governors University version of college and see if I can succeed, if I can knock it out uh, uh, like I th I think I can. And their program, uh, which by the way, their program, their um, software development, it's not exactly like my computer science route that I was on before, it, but it has some similarities. I have to say, looking over their degree program was a lot more like the real world than any computer science degree I ever saw. We're talking about web development. We're talking about object-oriented programming with Java, C Sharp. Uh, we're talking about there's a UI UX course. There is a project management course. There's a technical documentation course. And the reason I bring that up is that that was one of the things that really I struggled with in college was this very theoretical approach of you know, you need five physics courses to do this and, and six calc courses. And I did those courses and it killed me every single day. <laughs> um, but I'm very excited to see these, uh, a program in which they integrate certifications that are relevant to the industry. And they also integrate courses that have, that will actually help you land a job and help you do this because it is relevant, right? We're talking project management principles, agile, this is stuff you do every day, UI, UX, stuff you do every day, front end development, stuff you do every day. And I'm very excited to see uh, the program and jump into it. And I'm, 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 uh, I can't wait to talk about it a couple times during it. Cause I want, I want, if there is a good program out there, I can recommend cause uh, Cal State Los Angeles, Sorry, I would not recommend you to anybody. And uh, we could talk in a separate video about that. But uh, hopefully what Western Governors University will be a great program for me and I can give you guys a healthy recommendation. Um, and as they say, finish faster and pay less, which is what I'm trying to do with this program and uh, finish up my degree and see what I can do with it from there. But uh, anyhow, guys, that's today's video. Just thought it'd be an interesting thing because a lot of you assume I either have a bachelor's in computer science, which I don't, I'm a, a dropout, or that I've gone to a coding boot camp, which I haven't. And and, uh, <clears throat> and I thought maybe I'd do a video specifically on this topic just to clear it up a little bit because I am a self-taught developer at the end of the day. I had a few courses in, in school, nothing on JavaScript. And I taught myself through uh, Free, free resources like YouTube, Codecademy, Free Code Camp. I never bought a course until I already had a developer job, uh, partially because I was cheap, partially because I was too broke. You know, when you're trying to either um, keep the lights on and keep food in the fridge or spending $20 on a course on Udemy, even though you think it's going to help you, oftentimes you don't just because you just can't, right? When your family's bringing your groceries, uh, how can you be spending money on this stuff? Not to say that it's a bad investment, but that's what how I was thinking about it at the time. But uh, I am now 
a developer, things are good and I don't have to take out any loans to go back to school. So I'm excited to do that and uh, excited to update you about the program as I go through it. So uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, support me on Patreon, all that good stuff, guys. I appreciate you watching these videos and I hope uh, that if you're out there trying to trying to learn to code and you can, I don't know what my girlfriend's screaming about in the other room, but I, I hope if you're out there trying to learn to code, you are having a, uh, I'm told, she totally got me off talk. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey baby, I'm finally going back to finish my bachelor's. What's, what are your thoughts about that? What about your master's? Hey guys, if you're looking for a fun little project to do, I have my very first course out called Learn Angular by Projects Part 1 where we build a personal portfolio. It's about three hours of content. It's one project. It's not going to teach you everything in Angular by any means, but it's a great way to get your feet wet. You can go ahead and check the link down below, get a, a coupon code, Coding God, or just click the icon.